Welcome to the NFL Week 11 Sunday Slate Breakdown here at Lineups. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Maelstrom and Will Schwartz. Um, let's move on to the next game of the Los Angeles Chargers traveling to face the Green Bay Packers. Currently looking at a spread of three points favoring Los Angeles on the road. Schwartz, I'll let you go first on this one. Any interest in laying the points with Justin Herbert here? Yeah, I actually have the uh, matchup preview for this one, but I don't have a play. I think this is a really tough one. I le- I want to lean the Chargers here, but it's a buy high uh, after a couple of nice wins. I just I don't want to bet a road favorite co- uh, coached by Staley. Uh, if anything, I think the over might be in play. Both defenses have been kind of disappointing. Uh, pa- uh, the one thing that either team has done well is the Chargers throwing the football. Herbert should be able to move it at will, but I just don't trust the Chargers defense. Uh, even a little bit, their pass rush has been disappointing in a lot of ways, despite having a lot of talent. Secondary, you could say the same. Staley's a loser um, as a head coach and as a guy who's supposed to be able to run a defense and can't even do that. So, yeah, I, I want to bet the Chargers here. They're the better team. They should win. But we're talking like November and Lambeau for a L.A. team that plays inside, coached by Brandon Staley. It's, it's just this is not the game for me. I'm going to move on and wait for the next one. Yeah, I love the Packers in this game. Um Obviously, we'd love a three and a half, but three is still great getting the full field goal. And I think they win this game outright, personally. Um, They've been pretty unlucky in a lot of phases and probably should have covered last week. Missed the extra point that uh, was the difference on the hook, plus three and a half against the Steelers. But I look at this Packers team, and I think Jordan Love is starting to play some decent football. And Schwartz, I know you're going to fight me on that one. But I went back and watched this film against the Steelers, and... He did a good job of navigating the pocket against a really good pass rush on the road. And now he gets to go back home and he's facing a Chargers team that ranks 30th in pass rush win rate that I think he's going to have time in the pocket here. The Packers offensive line is pretty good across the board. And the biggest weakness of this Packers team has been their run defense, but the Chargers can't really run the ball. They're 31st in rushing success rate, 30th in PFF run blocking. Chargers receiving core is super banged up. Mike Williams and Josh Palmer on IR. Keenan Allen dealing with a shoulder issue now. Gerald Everett also didn't practice on Wednesday. So Herbert's weapons are dwindling. And he hasn't been very good under pressure this season. He's 29th out of 37 qualified quarterbacks in adjusted completion rate under pressure. Packers do have a good pass rush. So I love the Packers here at home. I just don't see a massive gap between these two teams power ratings wise. And I think getting the full field goal, uh, fading Brandon Staley on the road is, is a pretty nice spot. Cody, any disagreement from you? No, not really, but it's just kind of playing into what I literally just fired on just now. Um, I'm going over 43 and a half. Let's charge this offense. I mean, I, th- I, th- I personally think they're rounding back into form now. I mean, if you want to look good, just throw against the Lions secondary. But um, while the Packers do have a good pass rush, their coverage isn't really um, all that ideal either. Uh, and, and their own kind of scheme is going to really leave open what the Chargers are going to want to do. They're going to want to pick apart um, the gaps. And with this heavy blitz, it's going to leave the middle wide open. Uh, Keenan Allen, Justin Herbert, I mean, it's just that's a magical one-two punch. He can either burn you uh, streaking across the middle or he can, he'll can find them deep. I don't see either offense really struggling, um, at least enough for to me to make me think this over is not going to hit. I do fully agree. I think Jordan Love is looking about a lot better because his issues was uh, pocket maneuver, maneuvering the pocket. <laughs> And, uh, and, and when, and when he's uh, maneuvering in the pocket a lot better, it's really helping with his accuracy because I mean, if you really watch uh film on him, his issue is he has a really weird stance and really weird movement. And when he's under pressure, like his hips are kind of like ruining his like throwing motion when he has a clean pocket. I mean, he can go back to his normal throwing motion. It's just going to help his accuracy. This, uh, charges, uh, front four is not going to pressure him really all that much at a consistent rate. At least I think the Packers can definitely do their part towards the, the total, I just want to know, I don't want to touch this number like whatsoever. I do agree with uh, Will, um, especially when it comes to Staley and getting him as a road favor. That just sounds awful to say. But at the same time, I mean, Jordan Love can also just fall really hard back to earth um, because he has definitely more tape of doing that than looking good. But yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to ride the Jordan Love high here. Uh, We're going to go with the over, um, especially a lot more confident knowing what the Chargers offense can be when Justin Herbert uh, rounds back into elite form. Yeah, I lean the over as well. Just definitely want to pay attention to the injury report and make sure that Keenan Allen's out there because if he's out along with Williams and Josh Palmer, pretty dire straits for the Chargers pass catching group. So that's the big oh, yeah, one yeah, for me there. Yeah, it's an instant cash off. I catch the news before uh, yeah. before uh, they move the number. 
Yeah, that'll do it for us. Check out our prime time videos for Sunday Night Football and Monday Night Football over on the YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Get notified when all of our videos go up for all of these NFL games. Going to have a lot more college football content as well. As the season winds down, we get into conference championships and bowl games. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy these games. Get some winners on the board here in week 11. And we will catch you guys on the next one.